Hey, hello, YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put music on your Android phone. So there's one thing you'll need to know first. You'll need to know how you're going to connect your Android device. Most Android devices, like Samsung phones, have a built-in uh, SD card, which so you can put a bunch of songs on there. But the first thing you have to do is actually connect this to your computer, so you can copy the songs. You'll need to look up. You'll need to find out what kind of cable you need. Some Android phones come with the USB cable already. If it doesn't, I'll show you how to identify it. Look at the port usually on the top. If it's, a st if it's like this, you'll need a micro USB cable. If it looks something a little bit closer to this, you'll need a mini USB cable. Let's let it focus. There you go. So, once you have your cable, you'll have to connect it to your Android device. Now that it's connected, I will plug it into my computer and you'll see the next screen. Alright, you'll see this screen come up. When you see this screen, there'll be a little button at the bottom that says connect to PC. You can't really see it because the camera's not focusing, but it's right here. When you press it, it'll say connecting to storage. Well, basically, if you're using any application that uses your SD card, they'll have to be stopped in order for this to work. Just press OK. You'll get this little spinning thing at the bottom. Okay, now that the Android guy is turned orange, that means you're successfully connected to your computer. If you open up My Computer if you're using Windows, um, you, you should see a new drive pop up. It, look, it should look like a flash drive when you're viewing it. You can open it up, make a new folder, put all your songs in there, or whatever. It doesn't really matter where you put them. There's no specified place. But once you put your songs in, go ahead and click, and you're sure that everything's done copying, go ahead and click Disconnect from PC, which is right here. And you'll get another spindle. Thing. Spinning thing. Okay, when he turns green again, that means it's done. You'll see this thing up here, preparing SD card and media scanning. I'll see if I can show you. Yeah, that media scanning means it's looking for um, audio and video files on your device. It does this whenever you add stuff, so basically you don't have to put it in a specific folder. Um, it, sh it shouldn't take you very long, but since I have a lot of songs on here, it'll probably take me a little bit longer. So. Once that goes away, you'll be able to listen to your music on your device. Put this up. You can close this by pressing back. And for me, it's media scanning USB storage now. I actually have an X I have a SD card plugged in here, along with the um, built-in one. All right. Now it's say media scan completed. Let's go listen to some music. Put that up there. All right. My music's on here, yours might be on a different home screen or someplace else. Push that. Then here it has like listed all my tracks separately. Um, I can choose them to sort by albums. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this built-in MP3 player. Um, you can, like I said, the, with the Android market you can download a whole bunch of stuff. They actually have different players if you want to get that. Or you can just use this one, since it's already in there. This guy, remember, you can actually even sort by artist if you wanted to. And you can make your own playlist. It'll say, like, recently added, quick list. And you can even make your own playlists. So that's it for adding music. You can just scroll to the song you wanted to play and actually just listen to it. You can use the volume buttons on the side to change the volume, of course. So that's it. Alright, uh, enjoy. See you next week.